Paul Charles William Davies born 1946, is an English physicist, writer and broadcaster, a professor at Arizona State University as well as the director of Beyond, Center for Fundamental Concepts in Science. He is affiliated with the Institute for Quantum Studies at Chapman University in California. He has held previous academic appointments at the University of Cambridge, University College London, University of Newcastle-upon-Tyne, University of Adelaide and Macquarie University. His research interests are in the fields of cosmology, quantum field theory, and astrobiology. He proposed that a one-way trip to Mars could be a viable option. In 2005, he took up the chair of the SETI, Post Detection Science and Technology Task Group of the International Academy of Astronautics. Davies serves on the Advisory Council of METI, Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligence. He is also an advisor to the Microbes Mind Forum. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education. Born on the 22nd of April 1946, Davies was brought up in Finchley, London. He attended Woodhouse Grammar School and then studied physics at University College London, gaining a Bachelor of Science degree with first class honours in 1967. In 1970, he completed his PhD under the supervision of Michael J. Seaton and Sigurd Zianow at University College London. He then carried out postdoctoral research under Fred Hoyle at the University of Cambridge. Topic: <laughs> Scientific research. Davies' inquiries have included theoretical physics, cosmology, and astrobiology. His research has been mainly in the area of quantum field theory in curved spacetime. His notable contributions are the so-called Fulling-Davies-Unruh effect, according to which an observer accelerating through empty space will be subject to a bath of induced thermal radiation, and the Bunch-Davies vacuum state, often used as the basis for explaining the fluctuations in the cosmic background radiation left over from the Big Bang. A paper co-authored with Stephen Fulling and William Unruh was the first to suggest that black holes evaporating via the Hawking effect lose mass as a result of a flux of negative energy streaming into the hole from the surrounding space. Davies has had a long-standing association with the problem of time's arrow, and was also an early proponent of the theory that life on Earth may have come from Mars cocooned in rocks ejected by asteroid and comet impacts. During his time in Australia he helped establish the Australian Centre for Astrobiology. Davies was a co-author of Felisa Wolf simon on the science article, A Bacterium That Can Grow By Using Arsenic Instead of Phosphorus. Reports refuting the most significant aspects of the original results were published in the same journal in 2012 by researchers of ETH Zurich, including by researchers from the University of British Columbia and Princeton University. Davies is principal investigator at Arizona State University's Center for Convergence of Physical Science and Cancer Biology. This is part of a program set up by the National Institutes of Health's National Cancer Institute to involve physicists in cancer research which has set up a network of 12 physical sciences oncology centers. <laughs> <laughs> Awards Davies' talent as a communicator of science has been recognised in Australia by an Advance Australia Award and two Eureka Prizes, and in the UK by the 2001 Kelvin Medal and Prize by the Institute of Physics, and the 2002 Faraday Prize by the Royal Society. Davies received the Templeton Prize in 1995. Davies was made a member of the Order of Australia in the 2007 Queen's Birthday Honours List. The minor planet 6870 Paul Davies is named after him. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Media work. Davies writes and comments on scientific and philosophical issues. 
He made a documentary series for BBC Radio 3, and two Australian television series, The Big Questions and More Big Questions. His BBC documentary The Cradle of Life featured the subject of his Faraday Prize lecture. He writes regularly for newspapers and magazines worldwide. He has been guest on numerous radio and television programs including the children's podcast program Ask a Biologist. A 2007 opinion piece, Taking Science on Faith. In the New York Times, generated controversy over its exploration of the role of faith in scientific inquiry. Davies argued that the faith scientists have in the immutability of physical laws has origins in Christian theology, and that the claim that science is free of faith is manifestly bogus. The Edge Foundation presented a criticism of Davies' article written by Jerry Coyne, Nathan Myhavold, Lawrence Krauss, Scott Atron, Sean Carroll, Jeremy Bernstein, P. Z. Myers, Lee Smolin, John Horgan, Alan Sakal, and a response by Davies beginning I was dismayed at how many of my detractors completely misunderstood what I had written. Indeed, their responses bore the hallmarks of a superficial knee-jerk reaction to the sight of the words science and faith juxtaposed. While atheists Richard Dawkins and Victor J. Stenger have criticized Davies' public stance on science and religion, others, including the John Templeton Foundation, have praised his work. Davies wrote an article in the Wall Street Journal describing the background to the December 2010 arsenic bacteria press conference and stating that he supported the finding of Felisa Wolf Simon that arsenic can replace phosphorus because I had the advantage of being unencumbered by knowledge. I dropped chemistry at the age of 16, and all I knew about arsenic came from Agatha Christie novels." He also made the statement, "...well, I would be astonished if this was the only arsenic-based organism on Earth and Felisa just happened to scrape it up from the bottom of Mono Lake on the first try, it's quite clear that it is the tip of an iceberg." I think it's a window into a whole new world of microbiology. And as a matter of fact, she already has 20 or so candidate other organisms that we're very anxious to take a look at. I think we're going to see a whole new domain of life here." It was later independently demonstrated that the organism's DNA contained no arsenic at all. In a similar vein, a 2013 article in The Guardian by Davies suggested that the origin of life will be uncovered through information theory rather than chemistry. Concerns have been raised about his responsibility as one of Wolf Simon's co-authors. In popular culture The novel Naive, Super, by Norwegian writer Erland Lu, translated by Tor Kettle Solbig, published in 1996, refers to Davies frequently. Numbers Season 5, Episode 12 refers to Paul Davies' cosmic think tank at Arizona State. Lawrence Leung's Unbelievable Season 1, Episode 3, Leung interviews Paul Davies on alien abduction, where Paul admits to having experienced sleep paralysis. The novel The Extinction Machine, by American writer Jonathan Mayberry, published in 2013, refers to Paul Davies. Paul Davies' book, How to Build a Time Machine, was the primary influence on the song Time Machine Fix by the independent rock band Blue Eyed Infidels. Davies is mentioned by name in the song as someone to consult about fixing the past using the knowledge of time travel. Topic. Works Topic Popular books 1974 The Physics of Time Asymmetry, University of California Press, Berkeley, California, ISBN 0-520-03247-0-1978 The Runaway Universe, Penguin Books, ISBN 0-460-04286-6 1979 Stardom, Harper Collins Publishers Limited, ISBN 0-00-635318-5-1980 
Other Worlds, Touchstone, Simon & Schuster, ISBN 0-460-04400-1-1980 The Search for Gravity Waves, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-23197-3-1981 The Edge of Infinity, Penguin USA, ISBN 0-14-023194-3-1982 the Accidental Universe, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-28692-1-1982 Quantum Fields in Curved Space, with N.D. Birrell, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-27858-9-1983 God and the New Physics, Simon & Schuster, ISBN 0-14-022550-1-1984 Superforce, Touchstone, ISBN 0-04-539006-1-1986 The Ghost in the Atom, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-3131 6 3 1987 The Cosmic Blueprint, Simon & Schuster, ISBN 0 4 440182 5 1988 Superstrings, A Theory of Everything, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0 521 35741 1 1989 The New Physics, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0 521 30420 2 1991 The Matter Myth, Simon Simon and Schuster, ISBN 0-670-83585-4-1992 The Mind of God, Simon and Schuster UK, ISBN 0-671-71069-9-1994 The Last Three Minutes, Basic Books, ISBN 1-85799-336-5-1995 Are We Alone, Basic Books, ISBN 0-14-025179 0-1995 About Time, Einstein's Unfinished Revolution, Penguin Books, Simon & Schuster, ISBN 0-670-84761-5-1998 The Fifth Miracle, The Search for the Origin and Meaning of Life. New York, Simon & Schuster. ISBN 0-684-83799-4-2002 How to Build a Time Machine, Penguin Books, ISBN 0-14-100534-3-2003 The Origin of Life, Penguin Books, ISBN 0-14-101302-8-2007 The Goldilocks Enigma, also under the title Cosmic Jackpot, Horton Mifflin Harcourt, ISBN 0-14-102326 O 2008 Quantum Aspects of Life Eds. Derek Abbott, Paul C. W. Davies, and Aaron K. Patty, with foreword by Sir Roger Penrose, Imperial College Press, ISBN 1-84816-267-7 2010 The Eerie Silence, Horton Mifflin Harcourt, ISBN 1-4001-6551-2 2010 Information and the Nature of Reality, From Physics to Metaphysics, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 978-0-521-76225-0-2019 The Demon in the Machine, Alan Lane, ISBN 978-0241309599 Technical books 1974 The Physics of Time Asymmetry, University of California Press, Berkeley, California 1982 with N. D. Birrell, Quantum Fields in Curved Space, Series, Cambridge Monographs on Mathematical Physics, Cambridge University Press 1984 Quantum Mechanics, with David S. Betts, 2nd edition, CRC Press, 1994 Topic. Essays and papers Are We Alone in the Universe? In the New York Times, 18 November 2013. Taking Science on Faith? In the New York Times, 24 November 2007. What Happened Before the Big Bang? 
In God for the 21st Century, Russell Stannard ed., Templeton Foundation Press, 2000, ISBN 1-890151-39-4. Footprints of Alien Technology. In Acta Astronautica, 73-2012-250-257. Available online August 26, 2011. Topic Footnotes Topic External Links Paul Davies at Arizona State University Beyond, Center for Fundamental Concepts in Science Microbes Mind Forum SETI, Post Detection Science and Technology Task Group Interview with Paul Davies at Astro SETI, Org Summary of Davies Works and Biography Paul Davies at the Mathematics Genealogy Project Paul Davies on IMDB Life and Building ET Davies podcast interview on Ask a Biologist Paul Davies's articles in The Guardian Taking Science on Faith in NYT, 2007 Davies to speak on science and science fiction, Science Fiction Conference 12-13 April 2012 at Oral Roberts University Audio interview with Davies on Alien Intelligence at National Review Paul Davies in a debate on Are We Alone in the Universe? on Premier Christian Radio. Topic. Videos On an Ultimate Explanation Part 1 on YouTube Part 2 on YouTube Part 3 on YouTube Part 4 on YouTube Part 5 on YouTube about Cosmic Jackpot on YouTube.